Shalom everybody. Good evening. I'm speaking very soft because I do not want to wake up or so up. I beg. It's late here, but I just came quickly. Advice, wisdom, and something that the Lord made me understand. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I am not going to be long, five minutes max. I want to say two things. Open your spiritual eyes. The Lord was just ministering to me before Papa Rukafira came back. He was just, I was watching something from Facebook. And then God said, you have to tell people. The way the devil is coming to these African countries and bringing perverted rubbish and nonsense, especially to people that have no technology, but wanting to live such a fake life. He says he's looking at the, the things that are happening on Facebook. Facebook is a survey for politicians, for businesses, for companies to know which country and which people are foolish with knowledge and wisdom. That's why in China and in Korea, TikTok is 40 minutes per day for children. But for us here abroad, America, Europe, uh, Africa, they're killing your generation. So this is advice. Open your spiritual eyes. The devil is watching Nigeria. The reason why the devil has infested your country so much is because he was looking on Facebook from the survey. Too many Nigerian bloggers on Facebook that are doing nothing but the work of evil. They are not spreading news which is helping people. They are officially slanders, gossipers, low gutter cheap people that it's disgusting when you even see the things they say they blog about and the news they bring. And the reason why they do that, it is because of money. So the Lord was showing me, I saw a clip of this hookup where parents are pranking their children to find out if their, their daughters are doing hookup in college or somewhere. The Lord was telling me, as much as they are seeing, the parents are discovering that their children like hookup, the enemy abroad, the international man who is a sick pervert in the head, He's seeing that African girls actually like hookup. So they are going to start using dating lines, dating sites, to start trafficking you African girls and to do hookup with you. This is just direct. Let me tell you, mothers, if you have daughters, come and listen here. They'll start doing that because they are noticing. And Zambia is also in a very, very, Pastor Frank, Zambia is in a very bad predicament because Zambia is one officially one of the most ignorant African countries at the moment and Facebook has been looking and that's why they are welcoming that's why in Zambia at the moment because they are noticing and they are going to make sure that every country that, that likes rubbish you see the way you love TikTok they will support you, they even bring a way of you people to make an income so what the devil is doing with Facebook he's looking at which country is gullible which country is watchmen and, and people who are supposed to be spiritual inclined are sleeping. So he's coming in with the politicians. Everything looks fancy. So, word of advice, be very careful. He's looking at those videos. Oh, hook up, hook up. So the devil is telling pervert, now this is where you need to go. So there'll be a lot of dating sites and African girls. <laughs> Some of you, if you know that they want to harvest you and traffic you, <laughs> Human organ traffic and this you. If you knew, you will not even apply. This is advice and caution already for the go ahead. Be very careful. Hmm? Open your spiritual eyes. He's looking at which people are gullible. Look around you. If what I'm saying is wrong, then take it up with God. But be very careful. He's looking online to see. He knows Nigeria loves to take part in anything that's online. This whole Bitcoin thing, I see Zambia has taken part. The devil, this is how he's entering your country. And then the second thing connected to this same thing before I say the last point is these awards that you see people getting awarded, people getting promoted, people getting name and influencing. It's a promotion from the devil for doing their work. It is initiation, initiation rituals in broad daylight, masquerading as shows, as promotion, 
as influence, as TV, as showbiz. Be very careful. He wants people to take part. He will not want to go to hell alone. So he has made sure that everybody that is gullible is going to go with him. Open your spiritual eyes and cover your family. Don't be ignorant. He's looking online. He's seeing which countries the leaders are not strict. That's why they didn't like people like Mugabe. Because Mugabe was not a black man that begs. If he would say there's nothing in his country that will go down, then there's nothing in his country that will go down. And African government leaders, you have to start standing up and stopping certain things to happen in your country. Because most of these things is to destroy the youth. And those of you who have aspiration to travel abroad with no purpose, with no vision, with God not directing you, you die and you never come back to your home. Take your time. Use wisdom and knowledge. There's no jealousy. Wait for your time. God is a God of order. If he has blessed you, he will not miss you. Just relax, sister, brother. He will come. So open your spiritual eyes. Understand that what is happening is more than what the eye shows and what the eye sees. You have to have spiritual eyes. The devil is so, so, so smart. And the trends that are happening here online they are the doors of hell that are making once upon a time an African child that had fear and obedience towards the parents start behaving Western and all cool and direct and all outspoken, forgetting who the parents are to them. The devil is doing this because we are all online. We are watching too much. And mothers, this thing for hookup, don't prank your children. These pranks are not cute. I said, so far that this is how the devil is coming in. I saw another video. The Lord allowed me to see there's this challenge. A, you give your children a pass to insult. Do you know what that means? They said the, the two kiss, you kiss. Your children are allowed to kiss, to use bad words. It's a challenge. I don't know how many of you have seen that video. I'll share it on my I'll share it on this page when I finish. It's a challenge where me and Papa Rockefeller tell our children to stand in front of us with a camera and we tell David, Peter and John to start insulting and they have a pass and they can do it. And then you hear little children use the F word, the B word, not towards the devil, but to what they say. And they speak like grown women. It's an of course an American challenge. And before you know it, it's going to be in Africa. So when you see days like that, open your spiritual eye. What kind of challenge is that? That's how it's opening hell for your child and my child to mix in the things that are not even normal and are not of God. So to all of us, open our spiritual eyes, have wisdom and knowledge. And to my, my people in Nigeria, you are bringing a lot of calamity for yourself because they think it's a country that is just playing everything that is rubbish you really need to come together and i pray that the government of nigeria is going to do one thing that you need to do the first thing that you need to do for your country as nigeria after this election by the way when the grace of god whoever becomes the president i'm not here for elections take all the bloggers that are nigerian that are spreading rubbish here this is to all the african politicians too many of these bloggers that are posting rubbish in your country, they make a whole lot of noise, and the noise they leave is not good for your nation. The people that are tenishing Nigeria are not even other people. It is Nigerians. There are too many Nigerians that are blogging rubbish here. If you see the videos of the singer and his late child just from Nigerian bloggers, it's more than 500. For Facebook, it is beautiful. But for any Nigerian who is in this chat, you need to cry for your country. A country cannot, if you go for Nigeria, you could go online. Before you can find anything that is about a Nigeria that is loyal, that is hardworking, that is God-fearing, that, that lives according to the will and the purpose of God, that fears the law, before you can find those Nigerians online, you have too many of these Nigerians, Amara America. Vrago, Mama Dici, Lolo Dati, 
the attention they say in this world any attention is better no if your country is getting so much dramatic nonsense even from people who are not journalists calling themselves vloggers you will not be able to be taken serious in the corporate world to the leaders of nigeria the people who are destroying Nigeria, sometimes you want to love Nigeria, but when you see what Nigerians say about Nigeria, so I wish you could keep that block. In, if you were talking, you see how in China, everything that the Chinese people don't feel good about one another, it is not online. They have locked Facebook for all of you out and for them. They don't want to they hear, they don't want to hear about you people and they don't want you to hear about them. So what do they, the Asian people, the Chinese people are doing? When they want to shout their presidents and they are disgrace their leaders, they are doing it in their country. It don't then go out. They should have freedom of speech. But the way Nigerians are doing online here, I was watching a clip. The Lord told me, you need to go and tell people, open spiritual eyes. It is the way that the devil is entering. While these vloggers are vlogging, the devil is promoting them. He likes the noise they are bringing for the country. But online is not going to be forever. You people will need a corporate, economical, social, and financial society. And it cannot be in a Nigeria where there is one million bloggers. You can't all have to do the same thing. That's why when they say Nigerians are for one and I tell people, I say, open your spiritual eye, the devil is a liar. Not all Nigerians can be thief. But you Nigerians who are clean, you actually have to stand because the Nigerians who don't care, those ones that are blogging here on Facebook 24-7, they are never really affected. They have nothing to lose. Nobody knows them. But you Nigerians that are known, stand up for those Nigerians that are really in Abuja, in, in a, a ghost, in Edo State, whatever, a go all these places. Stand up for them and show the true Nigeria. Because the buffoonery that is going on here, it makes me sad when I see people. If you want to go online to see what they think of your country, and if, you might say you don't care what people think of you. We all need each other to make a strong economy. Take the white Western world out. Open your spiritual eyes. Even for us to be strong as Africans, we need each other. And nobody wants to sit down with a joker and a fool, an ignorant fool. There is time for everything. Mind your jokes. If jokes are going to be disgracing you, who is going to be laughed at? The enemy will use it against you. Use wisdom and knowledge. There is a way that seemeth right to man. But in the end, hmm, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, open your spiritual eyes to my country, Zambia. The devil is looking at your country. He's already entered. He has seen the foolishness. Because right where Nigeria is in, in front, just move a few steps back. Zambians, you are standing there. And let me tell you, go to the countries that are not taken serious in terms of business, then you will learn. Because it's the people bringing a business in a country. They know if you go to China, they bring technology, they IT people. Open your spiritual eyes. They bring rubbish to Africa. Because Africans, we are showing them. And the fact that we are so proud to show our African rubbish and bafurari here online, while it's at the expense of it will be used. There is a way that seems right to man, but in the end it leads to destruction. Please do not get lost in what I'm trying to say, but try to ask the Holy Spirit to guide you deep to understand that I speak plain English. My brothers and sisters, open your spiritual eyes. This online is a whole world of Jenga of hell. And the devil he votes right here. That's why he fights us who spread the gospel. He ca cultivates right here. I find it so weird that they don't block bloggers that are vlogging about other people's lives and their children. But they block me who come to do nothing but save the word of God. Open your spiritual eyes. Don't play with the enemy. We are in a very sad time. And to anybody that this message has opened your spiritual eye, not the eye for outside. The spiritual eye that the Lord see through. Begin to stand for your nation and spread the gospel. And these things online, even ask the sharers. 
open your spiritual eyes. If we share anything that is promoting Satan, we are not helping ourselves. That's why these fake papas are known everywhere. Because Satan is a gossiper. He loves bad. Instead, let's stand in the truth. Don't give him. Resist him. Resist him does not mean run away from him. If he's right there, don't act. You don't see him. What is you and Satan got to do together? It's like this is Satan and this is me. I'm here. I'm relaxed. What could bother me? You have to resist him. You have to resist him. It's a survey. When they bring out trains from America, Babylon, they are also looking at which African country is willing to live the lifestyle. And if you look around, it's sad what is happening that they are beating African men who are dressed up as men. The devil is a liar, you see. In America, when you dress up as a man and you trick somebody and they find out that you are a man, you are not a woman, they can't knock you. They can fight with you, beat you, but there will be police to protect you. In Africa, when a fellow man tricks you to be knocked, it's a blessing if you get out of the hand of that fellow man that you tricked. They will beat you and kill you. Who is the fool and who lost out? The devil wants to bring a certainness of no fear. And that's why we have to stand up and use our spiritual eyes. It's a game. They bring it here online. They actually prepare us for the next thing that will come. They bring it in shows, in music, in culture, in life, in politics. They prepare you and me before it comes. So these things that you are doing, oh, parents, they find out their children are doing hookups. Be very careful, mama and papa. Oh. It's just not you parents who are finding out that your children are doing hookups. And that Nigerian boy blogger should be stopped to be making those videos. He's not helping nobody's mama. If he's really helping, they can sort it out behind. But it's going online here. And then before, you were crying that Nigerian girls went into le lesbianism like nobody's business. Now you go begin to cry that Nigerian girls are dying from hookup. That boy standing there with that hookup prank is a door that, actually, let me tell you, if they know that our girls are desperate and foolish enough to do a hookup anyhow, Every machete, every butcherai of hell, every agent of darkness, especially abroad, is ready to get your child. Oh yes, there's human trafficking, you don't like to believe it. And a poor man's child, when he's trafficked, forget about it. Which father? Poor blood, the only father who fights for the poor man's child, who don't have money in the bank in this world, is you, God of Abraham. The Lord God Almighty, the God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. You are the only one who fights for a poor man's child. If a poor man's child loses organ in Oman and in Saudi Arabia, who speaks for that African poor man's child? Nobody. Father, I'm telling my African people with direct with it hates and they think I'm bitter and angry. But I'm telling them the truth because there are so many poor man's children that have died, have, have ended up being dead people here. You don't even know if they buried them well or they just dropped them somewhere. Nobody has ever heard of them because of following, following. Be very careful. Online is a pit routine of hell. So for you, before you start doing, oh, hook up, hook up. And let me tell you, when the devil wants to destroy you, he will buy you that plane ticket first class because you are getting excited. Even the girls that go to Dubai where they poop in their mouth, they buy them first class tickets. They sit in yards. They treat them like normal people, but at the end, Oh yeah, open your mouth, take a shit in your mouth. Devo is a liar. Devo is a liar. Tell him that sister Ada said you are a liar. With her mouth, she opened it from here to heaven loud for the glory of God. You are a liar. So to all of you, yes, so let me make face because these are serious matters and you play with life. Wake up. This is also to Kenya, Zambia. I always mention these countries because these are countries that bear some of the most rebellious, stubborn, and ignorant human beings. And because of that, the devil loves it. But I don't care about the grown-up, the grown-up Nigeria, the grown-up Kenya, and the grown-up Zambia. 
I go spread this gospel for the young one because the Lord says the kingdom of God belongs to them. Open your spiritual eye. Hmm? Open your spiritual eye. I'm begging you. Open your spiritual eye to see where well, well, I open your spiritual ears. And anything that seems normal, before you do it, pray over it and for it. Because there's nothing normal anymore. The devil knows that his time is up. So he wants to collect as many as possible. They are discovering how to devour this generation through online. And you see how wicked the man is? My husband's country is trying to block TikTok. They are talking about it in parliament right now. Because it pissed people that TikTok in, in China, they are raising their children. We always think Chinese people are so smart with computer and technology. It's not because of that. Though. It's because the Chinese society does not allow their children to play in alcohol, drugs, games, Facebook, and buffoonery. They only allow them for 40 minutes on TikTok. The Korean Asian people see the wickedness and the standard of life. They only allow their children that level. And they allow you and my children to corrode their head. So you can see in 10 years from now, the African youth. And that's why when they brought TikTok, they are so happy. If you look at how many people are on TikTok, you are making money for the people in China and in Korea. You'll find out that half of the people that are making these people money are Nigerians, Zambians, and Kenyans. And can you look at your countries, you selfish spirits? Because every time you make that account, at your age, some of you with gray hair down there, you are making TikTok videos for rubbish. Open your spiritual eye. Yeah. Open your spiritual eye. And that's why when they say a Chinese man wants to marry a black man, the Chinese family say, you know, you cannot marry from these people. They do not say about race alone. No. They also think intelligence. They think they have raised their child to be a, a IT man. The African one is the one who is always on TikTok. Check it with the dog. Make your eye pop. Even celebrities. Rubbish. Buffoonery. Nonsense. And a shame that I come from the continent of Africa. Because anybody who they give you people shit. Now you people open mouth with a leak and eat. I wonder. We never food to eat another man's shit. Since we born with eating shit. Why would we say no? Huh? Eh? Open your spiritual eye. Be responsible. And some of you, you go receive the penalty because of your spreading of rubbish it corrupted the whole generation. My sister, you are not known to the world, but you are one sharer, commenter of rubbish and nonsense. God will punish you because you see what is happening now. I don't even think my husband will want to watch that video. Baby, it was a video of a two-year-old and she was with boys, and they were holding her waist, and she was dancing for them like a sexy snake, and she was whining on a boy, and somebody was taking picture. You play with rubbish. That's why they think... Now I understand when Africans come abroad, and they meet those white people who are pervaded, sometimes even black people, when you're cleaning the house, I have friends that this has happened to my husband. Is my witness is listening here. You know, the first time you come here before you get your education and the right way, you do what you have to do because life is not cheap. As much as people fake it and African people forget, we work like animals to make our money just to go on TikTok. God forbid. <laughs> the way I lie in Jesus' name. They, when you go to clean as a cleaner, this is most experienced for most women, that the white man came to own to the black woman and said, I'll give you extra for the cleaning plus the toto and the niash. And the sister said, no, I don't do that. And the white man said, ah, you are not like her. And she said, who? She said, oh, there was this, and this is a story that some of you will not like. There was a Kenyan woman that used to clean for me. She used to give me massage. Oh, there was a, 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 Filipino woman, this one in Holland, this is a real life story that I know. But there was a Filipino woman, she gives me a happy coming afterwards. The fact that it's like that is because even online, we put it. Sorry, baby. We put it online. You see how black girls on TikTok, 
they are making videos with white men, duetting white men that they don't know and they will never meet because they love a white man. The slavery is still so thick in here. And sometimes I feel unbelievable God of Abraham for us black women. You see them TikToking people they don't know, baby, duetting a white man they don't know. Eh? Not for like, no, to have a white man on their screen. But can there be any more idioticy than this idiotic? God of Isaac, God of Abraham. Open your spiritual eyes. I didn't want to stay this long, but the Holy Spirit keep pouring and pouring. You know me, I don't write anything. Open your spiritual eye. Really open your spiritual eyes. My sisters, if men are not going to open their eyes, I'm begging you as women, as mothers, open your eyes. It's a shame. That's why when they receive us in marriages, it's just beyond the race. They actually believe we are prostitutes. We can be slaves, sex slaves. Because we are online. When I see Zambians write the status, me, I would rather be alone than be with a broke man. And then you see how many Zambians are enjoying that. The devil is looking, he's telling his agent, that foolish country, Zambia, they don't take things serious and also they love money. They are also having the spirit of Cain. They are so selfish and wicked people. So what does he do? He brings them there. And you see how Zambian women are killing each other online to post. And most of the people who are posting to show off a lifestyle, they are not even rich. It's all poor women that are getting by, working hard to put pictures on Instagram and TikTok. Mbano, kaope, your spiritual he, lo he brought AliExpress. AliExpress was created after the one Alibaba saw on Facebook. All these African girls want to slay. How can I mock, make money out of this Africa? Alibaba made that. And when Alibaba made that, it benefits him like nobody's business. Alibaba's best client is Africa. There's no country. It's the whole continent. Africa. China's best client is Africa. Remember? If they can learn the Chinese to do things, God, why is it not possible for us? It's because we are not serious for I understand. Oh. Father, I wish we had this conversation, the two of us, because now you are making me feel single. Huh? Forgive me. And Facebook is not filled with people that are white. Sorry not to be a racist. It's filled with the most black people and poor people. Poor people are giving their last money to the rich people. And that's why to the Nigerians, they would rather make a, a peanut money from Manhala, my name is Ame America. Today, the gist will be sweet and sweeter than honey. Ame America, go make vlog, making Nigeria across the board and the world look foolish. So, Ame America will chop, but at the cost of all other Nigerians, being look like momos. Now I understand you are your brother's keeper. Now your sister's keeper is deep. In nations, when you are your brother and sister's keeper, everything you live in a nation over your country. Now your mama's children, you do that for. Because that person from that country is going to say, Oh, I'm that you know, but I had a very bad experience with this Zambian and this Kenyan or this South African. And they'll keep all talking. And why people are not the type of people, you know, the way they talk about Africa. Most white people are brought here. My husband is listing, is a witness. They have never traveled to Africa. But the way they talk about Africa, 
because of what they have heard and the stories that they have been told. They believe everything. That's why this 419 for Nigeria went on because what people hear that Nigerians are the number one 419. But the truth is that Nigerians are not the only one who is doing fraud scam. Actually, what people are the number one uh, 419 thief. But because, because of that first Nigerian who they think your nation, now your whole nation pain. Even when it's other countries that are doing fraud online, it's always Nigerian. And when you say you're Nigerian, the way people respond, I believe that the Nigerian who is honest in Abuja right now, who works hard, living in a sheltered house, they cry to God. Like, why? And because of those tears, make Una listen, Father, come and punish these people who are their brother and sister, keep behaving like king, selfish. As long as it's good for me, I got it. Teach us, Jesus, that you did not put all these men on it because we needed to be one one. The eight work well and operate well when there is black, white, Chinese, Middle East, Asian. The eight has been created to operate with everyone. And that's why this game of Lila is not working. And that's why the Lord did not make Africa poor. He did not do that. He gave the most resource. To the one who has the biggest knowledge. But the problem is that you cannot learn how to build anything. If your continent is filled with Facebook and TikTok. Politicians, I am speaking to you people as an apostle of the Lord. Open your ear. If you want to be taken serious across the broad. Across the broad, the board of business and everything else. God says you have to look at the gate of your nations. This is also to my country, Zambia. Get these vloggers that find joy in humiliating your own nations online. Even here in Holland, when they are scoring the minister president, moral that we need to learn as African people, as black people, if we want to score one another, let's go and talk as brother and sister like the Lord says, call each other and sit and talk. But this online thing, exposing politicians, the white people know that if you hate your own politicians, that's how they came in Africa and infested Africa. You did not give respect to your fellow African politicians and forefathers. That's why the white man came in and took everything. Stop your rubbish. African leaders clean your front gate of your, your countries. Open your spiritual eye. These blogs are making noise that they do not come to invest in your countries for a serious investment. Elon Musk does not come to your country to invest business. The world at, at large is not coming in Africa to invest. They are bringing YX bait. They give Africa wild remit money. They give Africa peanut projects because they see from the activities online. They can't, Elon Musk can't come to an African country and start anything really substantial. Africans are foolish and rubbishic online. That's why they give you one X bet because it's things that are not meant to last forever. They don't trust you with anything serious. The Lord is speaking out of my mouth. They trust you with small things. Let's give them wild remit. It's not a company. It's something that can be shut down now. And if you want to be taken serious as nations to sit on the board, stop accepting things like one X bet. The whole country is filled with influencers promoting one X bet. Big companies get afraid to come and play with people that are ignorant. I would not invest my money with a fool. Baby, am I wrong? I would not. I would not. It's not that Africa cannot afford Tesla. It's because Africa does not have the goal and the ambition for greatness. And God forbid, God did not create Africa less than the others. We're all capable of greatness. Let's get our shit together, my brothers and sisters. And don't mind my language, because I didn't ask you to. But I will speak it the way it is. We just shame ourselves. Cheap. So to all the African leaders, 2023, those who are getting new leaders, 
coming different. As the young generation, the only way they are taken serious, when you see an 18-year-old white boy and an 18-year-old black boy that are both educated, they speak on the same level, sit on the same table, speak the same language. African leaders, if you don't know how to read, it's time to start having a special young man. Pray that God gives you young men that are intelligent, that will clean the house. Ones that know how to bring people that will sit across the board, up across the board to speak for things that will develop a whole nation, not just you alone. And you, you speak for the nation. And the only way you can speak for the nation is if your own nation stops promoting nonsense. Nigeria, you are paying for it now. You have one ex bid. Has it changed the economy? Zambia, you next, because you, you wanted to be proud, but you stupid. God is going to allow you to feel it first, and then you're going to learn the right way. How? Stop. These influencers, they became businessmen. And I'm sorry, an influencer and somebody online cannot become a businessman for a country. America can have that. It's a big country. The influencers make deals. Our influencers, they ruin the economy and the finances of the nation. I'm sorry, because people don't work hard. One ex bit. And when you look at one ex bit, it's not really anything that you're making money from. You still have to pay. It's not free. It's actually wasting your time. And they're actually taking more from you. In the long term, oh yes. Oh yes. And these influencers, they just keep telling you, use promo code this and that. You think a real businessman is going to come to a country where people are scratching one bit? Open your spiritual eyes. Open your spiritual eye. Your countries are going down because of the gate. If you come at, in front of a house, a gate, you find five prostitutes. All of them yash out, turning around. <clears throat> and then you see another gate where there is a gate man. If you came to do business, which gate are you going to enter? And there is a third gate where there's a man in a suit, books, and a pen, ready to talk business. God gives us wisdom. All of this is God letting you know. And you stop accepting less. When you sit at the board table, they have something to offer. You have something to offer. You are not a beggar. Mm -hmm. Business ain't nothing to play with. It's business. And when it comes to business of the nations, open your spiritual eyes. Do things that are going to benefit a whole generation for years and years to come, like your friends do. That your grandchildren will enjoy from it. Stop this rubbish. Africa, wake up. Women, wake up. People, wake up. Because you're worried about how the generation is going down. We're making it, y'all. Because the rich people... They don't outnumber us. They are more, there is more minority on the people who don't have a lot of money. The problem is that the rich people gather together to plan and do things. As the minority, we are so scattered and we don't care about what comes. You have to care about your nation and your people. Arise and open your spiritual eyes. May God bless all of you. Have a blessed night. I stayed longer than I should have. Bye.